Hey guys, this is my first Asura Chapter 1 story. I did it on A Mesmer, and the video is actually a highlight from stream for those of you who don't necessarily get to watch it. And there are a little bit of rough cuts just to cut out a little bit of banter between myself and Twitch chat. There may be a little bit left in there, however, it should still be a good experience and kind of funny actually, especially when I pick on the dialogue in the game. So. If you like the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to post them in the comments down below. And I will see you guys at the next one. Such brilliance. Finally, you're here. We had to give up our space in the queue. Now the College of Synergetics is behind Dynamics, Statics, and Inquest. With respect, sir, that just means they've saved the best for last. Our interspatial translocator is this year's clear winner. One hopes. Remember, the founder of the event and one of the judges is Soja, the Synergetics alumnus. She'll hold us to a higher standard. Let's review once more, okay? I'll operate the translocator. I give the judges some banner, explain the translocator's brilliance, and then... Then you fired at me. I'm the most familiar with the device and with being teleported, so I'm the least likely to regurgitate breakfast all over the judges' table. <laughs> exactly. You appear in a blinding flash of electrified brilliance, we prove teleportation is possible without a receiving gate, and the SNAF prize is ours! It's brilliant. I can't wait to see the expression on the judges' faces. Right now, crewmate Paul, they just look bored. They're waiting for us. So let's get out there and dazzle them. SNAF prize, here we come. I love how it's called SNAF prize, too. I haven't really started the story yet, but I'm having fun so far. King Griswold is very impressive. Oh yeah, they, he sounded really impressed. Right now, because of them, all I'm thinking of is Harry Potter. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it is cool. And honestly, like, a lot of people have said that they're not super keen on these dialogue, uh, the way the dialogue is done there for the cutscenes, but I like it. And note that my assistant is completely intact. Solid work, Bart. And this is the second time your assistant has impressed me. Oh yeah, the second time I've impressed people. Look at me go. Other people's work. That teleporter is in this property. Fork it over. What? What? Never. This is my crew's invention, and we'll die before we give it up to the likes of you. Damn straight. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, we will. Come at me. I was hoping you'd say that. Inquest. You heard those plagiarists. Kill them all. Let's go. Test is over. I hereby declare that Vark and his crew win this year's SNAF prize. Yeah, buddy! That device derived from inquest research, and I have evidence to prove it. That's a serious allegation. The judges will certainly look into it, but... This is an outrage. How could the council credit an inquest loud over a genius like me? We can't even claim the title Snaff Savant in circumstances like these. Snaff Savant? I will not go down in history as the only Snaff prize winners with an asterisk by their name. This calls for an incredibly stern letter of protest. Oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> Vark. An incredibly stern letter of protest. Together, and I will not let them besmirch Snaff's memory. Zoja's right. The council accepted that protest and gave away our translocator suspiciously fast. I think the whole charade was rehearsed. 
which means it's only a matter of time before they rescind their decision, take away your victory, and award the Snaff Prize to the Inquest. I see. Her, like, headpiece and goggles is really, Let's really cute. teleporter by force before they take away your right to do it legally. Translocate. Wait, what? <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. I put a tracking device in to avoid... Let's take it away by force before they take away your right to do it immediately. <laughs> or legally. Count me in. It'll be tough, but I have a stake in this too. And maybe if I help recover the translocator, you'll stop bringing up the sewer incident. Wait, what sewer Let's incident? Concerned. You pinpoint their location with a tracking device, and we'll intercept them before they can lock it up in one of their labs. I've a few preparations to make and a few allies to switch on. I'll meet you on the road. <sighs> Look how pretty these flowers are. Like it's not talk. Oh, Mr. Sparkles. I was like, to the Mr. flower? Sparkles. What? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm excited to look them up. Um, I probably won't until I actually go into the city and explore it, so we have a little while, but then yeah, we totally will. Ready for action and updated mission objectives and priorities. Excellent. Proceed as planned. All right, let's do this. The mission. I'm ready. Welcome to the ambush party. The inquest column should be along at any moment now. <laughs> I'm eager to pin the inquest's ears back. Is this a straight smash and grab, or are there hidden subtleties? Sure, we'll subtly punch their faces, crack the- Oh, I like the way they think. Stole. We'll subtly punch their faces. Subtlety. Subtle enough for me, and no less than they deserve. <gasps> On an epic there, adventure, I know. We can do this without resorting to violence. Aww, guys, that's amazing. Guys. Oh, well. I love all animals, helping. so. That's what everybody keeps saying. <laughs> Especially when I get excited or explain something. Everyone keeps saying I sound like time you. When you get excited or you're thinking that you What Forspoken is now? Oh, geez. Can you uh, DM me that so I can check it out? Just because I'm doing this story portion and I want to pay attention to it. Thank you. There you go. That's exactly what I was asking. Entered the key and you can't find the armor? Oh, I don't know. I haven't well, entered any well. keys like that yet. What's this? Patent infringement, perhaps? That is, my patent infringing on your freedom. I knew you Her voice is awesome. would try to steal the interspatial translocator. That's why I set this trap, which you fell for because you're stupid. How did you get to Counselor Flax? Bribes? Blackmail? Or did you put the fear in him? When we expose this rotten mess, you'll pay for what you've done. Exactly. Yeah, and in the meantime, we're going to kick your behind so hard you'll be wearing it as a hat. Right, Mr. Sparkles? Affirmative. Prepare to don the behind hat. <laughs> Yes, yes, very <laughs> threatening. I'm literally quaking with fear so badly that I can't. You hope I do it? Uh, I don't know. I, I heard that yes. it's not super great when you're level 10, and I really don't Let's know if I want to die to that yet. But. Subject 2. Time to get you all nice and disassembled. On to subject 3. Wait, it's starting to smoke. What? I think this might be the first time a device malfunction has worked in our favor. Except we were probably supposed to end up in a volcano. The sewers, again. <sighs> Better keep moving. The inquest must be out looking for us. Okay, I know what way we're supposed to go, but I want to check out all of the paths. Is that bad? Are we timed? If I go too far, it'll kick us out? Yeah. Oh, that's... That stinks. All right, fine. Really pays to have a cane man. 
Mr. Sparkles, no! <gasps> They're so mean. And Muckle cosplay. <laughs> Low bite class and tank was yeah no that's cool I mean there's lots of different ways you can play a tank too I need to know what happened lots of different builds Zoja insufficient data at this time working there I have located Zoja's tracking signal she is in the inquest's Metrica province lab if Zoja's there so is Teo and I want to give Teo a piece of my mind and all of my fist meet me there Mr Sparkles and we'll bust Zoja out <laughs> head back to the lab Paul. You'll be safe there. Do some digging and see if you can find anything that will give us an edge. Finally, a task that doesn't require bruising or being bruised. I'm on it. He doesn't want to fight. He's a smarty, not a fighter. Aw, thank you. They are my FF14 emotes, so they look like my original character before I changed into a boy. Yep, exactly. Well, before my before I changed my character into a boy. I changed my character from a cat girl into a cat boy, so. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I could read the book of Edge of Destiny. I probably will. I'll probably get all of the Guild Wars 2 books that are available. You guys don't understand. This is serious. Oh, thank you. All right, let's go. Yeah. Don't forget the bunny phase? Yeah, that too. I, I have a couple of Viera phases, but then I was like, oh, they can't wear uh, headpieces, so I swapped to a cat girl, and then I never wore helms anyway, which is really funny. And then the only helm I'm wearing on my cat boy is literally because I... Uh, I dislike having the cooldown to change my weapons back. I like swapping back and forth and doing stuff. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I usually do. Yeah, no, I know. But I'm trying everything out to see how it works in certain situations. And yes, utilities still play a big part, or at least for me, the way I'm playing it, they do. Oh, do they really? That's cool. Ed, thank you so much for the follow. I'm waiting for uh, character slots for Guild Wars 2 to go available, so the moment they do, you guys let me know. Rage at maximum, oh god. Zoja, we you found you! Zoja. The temptation will be high anyway. Well, I have three more classes I need to try out, so... It's gonna happen regardless. Not quite. Just three more for now, yeah. far and hold them off. Thanks, by the way. I did not want to jump off this cliff. I hate getting wet. <laughs> They've been testing your teleporter on more innocents. When they're done, the subjects are disposed of with a prototype incinerator golem. That's horrible! Next Thank you so much for the follow. They kill them? You probably saw uh, guard, engineer, and elemental. 
72, yes. Yeah, someone was, else was saying they have all of those used, too. Which means, let's go smash us a prototype incinerator. And that's awesome, Grump. Done and done. You take the lead. Mr. Sparkles and I... Uh, thank you back. so, so, so much for hanging out, Drina. I'm excited that you found my stream as well. I will be on tomorrow around the same time, too. If you can hang out. And thank you so much for the sub, too. I appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun so far. Ah, sounds good. Sparkles. That's one less mechanism for the inquest to exploit the innocent. Now for the bad news. Bark sold you out. What? <laughs> I didn't want to say anything at first. I hate betrayals even more than getting wet. And I figured, hey, you might get killed and then I wouldn't have to tell you. Oh. Pragmatic, <laughs> as always. But I can't believe that about Vark. I've known him for ages and he's always been I mean her to I can him. understand. Not this time. You might die, Earth so that would have been a plus. I didn't have to worry about it. How else could they have known about our ambush plans? Why else would they kidnap Paul? Sorry, Extra slots? Ah, uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. They took Paul to keep him quiet and to use his leverage against you. That gives you a tough choice to make. Vark is slippery and Paul's in danger. Go oh no, I know I don't have to other. move. I just, so I'm, I'm me, really weird and I really like you? dodging, Revenge even when I don't have rescue. to, so. I, I'm just kind of messing around at this point. coming with you. That's so cute. Here's a course of action. Oh no! Your crew, your call. Save your boy Paul, or take down that varmint Bark. Bark betrayed the crew and tried to kill us. He has to pay. Bark's a snake, but Paul's my crewmate. I can't leave him to die. <sighs> yeah, everyone's... Uh, is Zojif, uh Felicia die? Yeah. Fine. I'll help him out. I can appreciate loyalty, just don't let people think you're soft. Radisum will eat you alive if you show weakness. They won't, especially after they see what I do to the inquest. Let's go. Thank you so much for the follow. Event. All right. You have requested access to this inquest facility. Please enter your access code. Uh, the code is guest. <laughs> what if I use guest? I want to see what happens. Will it kick me out of the instance? I refuse to die. Your code is not recognized by the system. Access denied. Try again with another code. Uh, attempt to bypass. Oh, geez. Critical error, unauthorized security bypass permission request sent. Please reboot system code. Reverse the data flow couplings to overflow the security system registry. Patch into the central processing unit and insert a custom override lockdown protocol. I wanna do that. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's go. Let's the arcane. Yeah. Hey, 
Over here. Help! Necro Ranger Guardian mostly. I, I know it's it's gonna be one of the next ones I try, and I want to try everything. Hey, Bella, what's up? <laughs> I don't want to be too negative, but I absolutely hate it here. That makes two of us. Now to get you out. Easier said than done. The door opens only to the correct code. If you try and fail, it sets off an alarm. There's a golem upstairs that generates the code. It changes all the time. Even the guards check it before they open the door. Then I'll check it too. And knock its block off. <laughs> I'll be back as soon as I retrieve the code from its smoking ruins. Oh god. And knock its block off. Oh yeah, I'm sure. That's why I, that's why I said I want to try them all, even at low level, because I think it's fun. And I like doing this organically. I was just about to create another copy. Thanks, Mr. Sparkle. Stay close. I've seen enough. Let's go. I've seen enough too. We need those prisoners. I actually did purchase the X-Packs. I was testing free to play initially and then I was like, oh, I want to try out all of the races. So literally the second day that I started playing, I uh, I, I bought the game, so. <laughs> oh yeah, people did mention that. Thank you guys so much for the follow. Alright, um. Ready? Oh, I was just about to swap back and knock him out again. Did you see me flipping all over the place, getting out of stuff and being... Did you see? Cool. You mean is a spell weaver fun? Hey, Kent, what's up? All right. Let's go, let's go. What is this? Fallen ally? Who's the fallen ally? Oh, Paul, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Paul. 